Now I am going to decode some of the application. As you see, inside the partials folder, I have created a partial view called imp underscore register.html. And this partial view contains a form whose contents are going to be saved inside the database. Also inside the scripts folder, there is another folder called controllers. And inside this controllers folder, I have created a new controller called imp underscore controller. And inside the config.js, I have used that partial view and its appropriate controller that I have created. Inside the controller, I have created an object on this scoop called impfrm. Now I'm going to add some properties to this object. The full name of the employee, his father's name, his national identity, his email, his designation, his contact number, his photo, his attachments, his gender, and whether he is a master or above or not. Now I copy this MPFRM object and go to the partial view. Here you see that I have an input. I am going to set its ngModel directive to the full name property of that object. MPFRM.fullName is exactly this MPFRM along with its this property. Now for this input I'm going to set its ng model directive to mp4m dot if name For this component or text field, I'm just going to copy it and paste it here and change it to an ID. Likewise, for this one, I'm going to set its ng model to mp4m.email. Also, here for this drop down, I'm going to set its ng model directive to mp4m.designationid. For this component, I'm going to set its ng model directive to mp4m.contact. For this male gender, I'm going to set its ng model to mp4m.gender and also I copy that and paste it for the ng model directive of the female gender. Also for the checkbox of whether he is a master or above or not, I'm going to set its ng model directive to mp4m dot is master or above property. And also for the attachments and sudo of this form, we need to create directives. I save the changes and go to the browser 
and drill out the contents. Here, as you see, the designations is a drop down, whose contents must be loaded from the database. I mean, from the positions or designations table.